I'm going to play today's demonstration of grace notes on a key of A Alaskan cedar flute by Steller. Um, the way a grace note works is it's a very quick note created by a quick tap between notes held of normal duration. To demonstrate uh, playing the scale or playing up and down the flute or down and up the flute, uh, first, without grace notes, I'm going to close the top two holes on a six-hole flute. Then I'm going to close three, four, five, and six. Work back up six, four, six, five, four, three, and two. Then I'm going to play the same sequence, but between each sustained note. For example, when I'm moving from the top two holes closed to three, I'm going to do a quick tap with the lowest note of the. Uh, first note that I'm playing. So uh, if I'm covering two holes, I'm going to play the note, then I'm going to tap two and go to three. Then I'm going to go down the scale. When I come back up, I'm going to start with six holes covered, and then I'm going to uh, open the six and go to the five. Quickly tap the six and go to the five and back up uh, the scale. Now, there's no need for you to just use grace notes between a single jump. And so, for example, after I do the demonstration of down and up with single jumps, I'm going to go from uh, three holes covered to five holes covered, and then five holes covered up to three holes covered with a grace note in the middle. And of course, grace notes can be played with vibrato or any of the other uh, special effects that you've learned on prior lessons. So all I did was play up and down the flute, but then I put in some double and triple grace notes. Uh, grace notes don't have to be singles. And now I'm going to play a simple combination, three grace note five, three grace note five. I'm going to demonstrate the opening line of a little traditional song called Duck Dance. I'm going to play the first line without any grace notes. There is a quick note in there, but it's not an absolute grace note. And then I'm going to play that, uh, I'll play it a couple times just as it's written. And then I'm going to play the opening line by adding in some grace notes. Now here's a couple of variations on grace notes that create some really unique sounds. Uh, you close the uh, four top holes on your flute, and then you do some rapid tapping or grace notes with the three top holes. And I'm going to play it that way, and then I'm going to keep the three top holes closed and tap simultaneously the three bottom holes. And it'll be like two flutes or two animals talking to each other. Now 
here's a variation on that. This time I'm going to cover the top four holes. I'm going to keep the fourth hole down covered. But instead of tapping with all three fingers of the top hand at the same time, I'm going to vary that. I'm going to do some with just the middle finger tapping, uh, two fingers tapping, and you'll hear a series of essentially grace notes uh, creating a great variety and a unique sound. Then I'm going to do the same thing uh, with the lower half of the flute, keep the top three holes covered, and uh, do a series of sequential grace notes uh, with one or more fingers on the lower half of the flute. So add spice to your music by adding in grace notes. I played today's lesson on a key of A um, Alaskan cedar flute by Stellar, a beautiful flute, and uh, hope you enjoy your flute playing.